Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Ako po si Cara David and I've been doing TV documentaries for more than 20 years. Ngayong araw na ito, pag-uusapan natin the magic of trilogies. Babalik tayo sa nakaraan at aalamin kung saan sila dadalhin ng kinabukasan. The secret to making a good sequel or a good trilogy is having standalone stories that are connected to each other. Diba nakakainis yung mga movies na kailangan mo pang panoorin yung tatlo para lang maintindihan mo yung buong pelikula? Kung gagawa ka ng trilogy, mas maganda na yung bawat isang docu or bawat isang movie can stand alone. Maiintindihan mo pa rin yung takbo ng storya kahit hindi mo napanood yung mga nauna. Pero mas magiging malalim ang understanding at appreciation mo sa storya kapag napanood mo yung tatlo. Parang yung folklore album ni Taylor Swift, did you know na merong tatlong kanta doon sa folklore na Bahagi pala ng isang trilogy, ito yung Cardigan, August, at yung kantang Betty. Kung pakikinggan mo yung bawat isang kanta, you would think na stand-alone stories sila. Yung Cardigan halimbawa, tungkol ito sa isang babae na kinaliwa ng kanyang boyfriend. Yung August naman ay tungkol sa isang babae na may kafling na lalaki. By the way, August yung title ng kanta kasi supposedly nangyari yung fling nung summer. And summertime in the United States is in August. And lastly, yung kantang Betty. Yung kantang ang ito ay tungkol sa isang lalaki na ang pangalan James, meron siyang girlfriend na ang pangalan Betty. Gusto niyang mag-apologize sa kanyang girlfriend kasi supposedly kinaliwa niya yung girlfriend niya. Pero sabi nito si James, fling lang naman daw yun. Bata pa kasi siya at hindi pa niya alam yung kanyang ginagawa. Sa totoo lang, kapag pinakinggan mo yung bawat isang kanta, solve ka na, naintindihan mo na yung kwento. Pero kapag inanalyze mo sila together, doon mo marirealize na, ay, connected pala sila sa isa't isa. Isang storya lang pala ito na ikinuwento sa point of view ng iba't ibang tao. Yung cardigan was told from the point of view of Betty. Yung kantang Betty naman was told from the point of view of Betty's boyfriend, James, at yung kantang August was the point of view ng kafling ni James. Tapos mapapansin mo dun sa lyrics, meron ding common themes na ginamit si Taylor. Yung kantang Cardigan halimbawa, ilang beses ginamit yung mga words na ito. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Tapos, sa kantang Betty, ilang beses din inulit ang mga words na ito. I'm only 17, I don't know anything, but I know I miss you. Only 17, I don't know anything, but I know I miss you. Mapapansin din na common sa tatlong kanta yung tema ng cars, driving, chasing. Halimbawa, sa kantang August, may ganitong lyrics. Remember when I pulled up and said get in the car and I canceled my plans just in case you'd call back when I was living for the hope of it all. Back when I was living for the hope of it all, for the hope of it all, meet me behind the wall. Sa kantang Betty naman, which is the point of view of the guy, may ganito namang lyrics. I was walking home on broken cobblestones just thinking of you when she pulled up like a figment of my worst intentions. She said, James, get in, let's drive. So parang they were talking about the same Scene, the same moment. Pagdating naman dun sa kantang cardigan, meron ding ganitong tema ng cars, driving, and chasing. Remember the lyrics, Chase two girls, lose the one? Tapos, to really drive home the point na connected sila sa isa't isa, pagdating sa ending ng third song, which is Betty, maririnig mo ito. Standing in your cardigan, kissing in my car again. Stopped at a streetlight, you know I miss you. Bumalik yung tema ng cars, tapos dinagdagan pa ng connection sa cardigan, which is the title of the first song. By the way, ang clever ng rhyming ng cardigan at car again, di ba? 
Marami pa pong ibang clues, hints, and common themes sa tatlong kantang ito. Listen to it again. Baka may madiscover pa kayong iba. Anyway, what I really wanna say is, kung gagawa kayo ng trilogy, make sure that each story can stand alone. Pero, lagyan mo sila ng common words, common themes, para connected pa rin sila sa isa't isa. Ganito yung ginawa namin para sa tatlong documentaries namin tungkol sa Mindoro. Gamugamo sa dilim ang title ng unang documentary na ginawa ko para sa Eyewitness ng GMA7. We filmed this in 2002, almost 20 years ago. Tungkol ito sa isang malayong sitio sa Mindoro Oriental na hindi pa naaabot ng ilaw at ng kuryente. 2010 naman yung sequel sa documentary ito. Ambulansyang de paa. Tungkol naman ito sa isang sitio sa Mindoro na walang access sa doktor, medisina at ospital. Madaling isipin na stand alone yung bawat isa sa kanila. Pero ang totoo, iisa lang yung community sa dalawang documentaries na ito. And if you watch both documentaries closely, marirealize mo na pareho nitong ginagamit yung symbolism ng liwanag at dilim. Dahil bukod sa literal silang nabubuhay sa dilim, madilim din ang kanilang kinabukasan dahil sa kahirapan at kakulangan ng serbisyong medikal. Almost 10 years after my first documentary, Gamugamo sa Dilim, we finally made the third installment to this beautiful trilogy. At ito yung docu na liwanag sa dilim kung saan ipinakita naman namin yung bayanihan ng iba't ibang tao nag-ambag-ambag ng pera para literal na mapailawan ang sitiyong ito at maghatid din ng tulong medikal sa lugar. Sana po meron kayong natutuhan. Muli, ako po si Cara David. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig.